Hey everyone, I'm really happy to be back on Wednesday Night Poetry with Kai Kogan and all the others. Um, this week I'm going to read a poem to you uh, inspired by my visit to a butterfly habitat in East Lansing, Michigan. But while I'm doing so, I'm actually here at Lake Wisconsin. So you'll hear the lake a little bit behind me. Um, beautiful location, love Wisconsin, gorgeous place. Uh, so here's the poem, at the butterfly habitat. The epitaph reads, complacency and false positive assumptions about the resiliency of once common species can have tragic consequences when timely action is not undertaken to safeguard their populations. That's from the Center for Biological Diversity. So here's the poem. Cruz points to a stalk of milkweed and explains that this is monarch food. We are surrounded by a former cornfield now turned into small farm plots for refugees and food banks and this butterfly habitat. He cuts me a stalk and feeds it through the mouth of a used water bottle we find in the field and fill with well water, then holds up a monarch caterpillar in a cup. We have to manage them now, he says, waving a hand out at the field that requires constant tending to keep weeds from overtaking the newly reinstated native species. The caterpillar munches voraciously on small leaves protruding from a small stick in the cup. Cruz gives me the milkweed and the cup and begins searching a tomato plant to find the large praying mantis he located earlier as he explains that they eat both ladybugs, a helpful species, and other bugs, destructive to a struggling native plants. The mantis is undiscriminating, he says but he lets it be and takes one for the team. He means the ladybugs. We don't find the mantis, so my tour culminates in an invitation to weed the land anytime. As Cruz points to and names various invasive plants that threaten the habitat, so I will know what to pull up and what not to. I use my phone's camera to photograph the weeds, data for when I return, but for now, I will take the caterpillar home feed him milkweed, watch him cocoon, and set him free, full-winged. He will do a little dance, Cruz says, to test the air before flying. The whole process meticulous, man, insect, plant. I look out at the work he has done, at what appears to be a tatty field, not the raw resources of butterfly survival, slightly pleased that I can do something for this lone would-be monarch, already sick, already dying in my cup. Sadly, the, cat, the butterfly did not make it. But this poem did. It is in Rewilding, Poems for the Environment. Uh, this is a book, an anthology, that was produced by uh, Crystal S. Gibbons. Um, she is the editor of Split Rock Review, so in conjunction with Split Rock Review. And this is a limited edition anthology that supports the Boundary Waters in Minnesota. If you get a chance, check it out. Go to splitrockreview.com and check out this anthology. It's absolutely beautiful. Joy Hardrew's in here. Um, my favorite poet, Sharon Olds, is in here and so many others. So please, please, please check out this book, buy a copy, support the Boundary Water, support our environment. We have a beautiful world, Lake Wisconsin, so many beautiful places. Uh, we need to take care of it. Love you guys much, bye.